All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So in today's video, I have my buddy uh, Connor is with us. He rides the uh, MT-03 Yamaha and we are going to be installing these uh, Govee lights uh, onto the Grom. So if you guys are interested in getting the same set of lights for your Grom, Monkey, or whatever project you may have, I'll have a link down in the description of that. So he's currently tearing down uh, some of the bike and our thoughts are uh, on both of these side pieces right here on this plastic, we're going to put a light on, on this side and then on the other side. And then we're going to have two lights that kind of run up the tail up here that light up that as well. And then we're kind of thinking of something up here in the front where the front of the motor is, where the intake is. We don't know exactly where they're going to go yet. So we're going to, we're going to place the four we have now, get it wired up and see, see exactly how, uh, how exactly everything's gonna light up once we turn the light off and uh, we'll shut the garage and see what it looks like. So as we start laying the lights out and get everything connected, I'll show you guys uh, how we do it step by step. One of the things that I forgot to mention, it comes with this key fob so you can wirelessly turn your lights on and off. And then here is the actual power box itself. And then also there's a Bluetooth app, Bluetooth app that you can control the lights with your phone. But I think for the purpose of this video, I think this key fob is gonna be plenty. And then we have a total of 12 we have a total of 12 lights that we're going to work with, and I think we're only going to put six on the bike. So we're going to get to uh, mocking up where we're going to put all the lights now. Okay, so Connor and I decided that we're also going to run two, I think they're six inch bars, eight inch bars along the bottom of the gas tank. So when this plastic piece gets put back on, uh, it should shine everything down from the intake to the motor down to the ground. And we'll do it on the other side. Like I said, then we have, we have a bar in here. And then we have two running along the uh, tail. So we pretty much got everything mocked up on where it's going to go. Conveniently enough, this box, obviously it's going to it's gonna live here, but it's going to live on the opposite side and down like that. Yeah, a lot better. So it's kind of funny that this cubby works like perfectly um, for the actual controller itself. So we're going to get everything cleaned up and we're going to start taping everything up. And then um, we'll get everything wired in and then we'll turn it on and... Obviously, during the day, we're not going to get the best results, so at night, I'm going to also show you guys what the bike's going to look like um, all lit up at night. Okay, Connor's going to show you. So on this side, a piece of plastic, this is how we have it ran. Boom. Just like that. Obviously, the male end is going to run back up to the top. And then he's going to explain to you all, he got creative and he ran... What size is it? Eight, eight inch bar? Uh, yeah, I believe this is an eight inch bar, and we stuck it to the bottom of the fuel tank. And then when you're running it through here, if you actually look, uh, when you're fishing the wire through, you'll actually see that there's almost like a perfect opening groove that runs from here all the way back up um, right above the shock. And then they come out right underneath that, this little plastic plate to which we're gonna put the main controller in. Yep, and then just to show you, we haven't ran them yet, but uh, going back to what he was saying about this rear shock. So the lights that are going down here, are actually gonna run right up behind the shock and they literally come up right here and then before as i showed you where that tray sits that's exactly where the power box is going to go so we're literally going to tie right into there and it's going to be perfect all right so connor and i now have all the plastics back on and then up top as you can see we have everything getting ready to be buttoned up for the actual controller box itself like i mentioned the plastic piece in his hand is going to sit there and then the controller, like I showed you in an earlier clip, it's gonna sit right there. Then we'll have everything nice and neat and all tucked in. So I'm excited to see how this thing's gonna look at nighttime. I think it's gonna look pretty sick. Okay, so one of the things <laughs> that I must tell you guys, this kit comes with, how many lights is it? 12. 12 lights. So we cut off the other strand because we're only using six lights. So we cut it off and we Tested everything out, everything still runs. So if you're only gonna run six lights, feel free to cut off just like we did. And then uh, what he's doing now is just tucking everything in. We got everything nice and zip tied. So we're getting uh, that much closer to uh, showing you what the finished product looks like. And then once it gets nighttime, we're gonna do the same thing. Also, uh, so when you get this kit, you're gonna have three wires. Obviously red's positive, black is negative. The white cable uh, is for your brake light. So if you want, Every, your lights, if you run in blue or green and you want to hit the brake uh, and all your lights turn red with the brake, that's what your wire, your white wire was for. 
Yeah, so I think for now we're going to leave that function out, but it's a possibility. So if you guys want to do it on yours, just like he explained, every time you mash the brake, all the LEDs will light up. All right, kill it. All right, so here's the first look of the bike being lit up. Uh, there we go. All right, so as you can see here, um, that's just the normal white. You can see there's purple, yellowish green, blue, teal, purple, another blue. There's a lot of different colors. And one of the cool thing is, if you hit B on the remote, I think it is B the, B oh, B is the brightness, so what D is music. Okay, so there's no music playing, but it will actually change to the music. So let me go back to white. Okay, so white, and then when you push B, obviously that's the lowest setting. Five clicks is the highest setting. So one, two, three, four, five. So there is the brightest setting. So obviously, as you can see here, under the tail is obviously going to be the brightest. And then from the side pieces, it gives you a little bit of accent that lights up here. I thought that was pretty cool. That was actually Connor's idea. And then down here, the ones that run along the actual gas tank, this side obviously is going to shine brighter because on the other side, the, uh, the actual intake blocks a little bit of it, but I think it's still going to look, look super cool uh, when it's completely dark out. So tonight when that, when it's actually pitch black out, I'll pull the bike, the bike out to the street and uh, yeah, we'll get a look at that. So like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in getting the same kit, I have a link down in the description for you to purchase directly on everything that I, um, on this entire kit. Let him ride the, uh, the Grom. I think the, uh, the lights turned out Fuego, they look super good. So while Connor's gone, oh yeah, he left the key in his bike. You guys, this bike sounds so damn gorgeous. Oh, I think he locked it, he didn't lock it. See if it's in neutral. Wait y'all hear the way this bike sounds. Wait, put her in neutral. All right, here we go. So it is officially nighttime out, and I just wanted to give you guys a look at how the bike looks. Completely dark out. Now my flash is on for the video, but I, I think it looks absolutely killer. So let me grab the remote, and we're going to change the colors. Man, I think that looks so sick. Red. I love it. I think there's like 30 plus options for the colors. <laughs> of course, you can hear the frogs in the background. I think it looks super cool. And I definitely like how it how it comes up right here as well. And then if you go down here towards the front of the bike, you can see it shining through there as well. I think that's going to look cool at nighttime riding. I think white, let me see. No, white is my, my favorite. So comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the, uh, the sweet little Amazon lights that we got for the bike. All right, so here's just a, a video of no, no flash on. It's obviously super dark out. But yeah, I think it looks super cool. And the install was super simple as well. So I think we did a pretty thorough job showing you guys exactly how to install these on your bike so let me go to red looks pretty cool too so if you guys are interested in getting the same lights for your bike like i said i'll have a link down in the description and this thing's got so many different modes so you can go dim and then five 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 up one two three four five and then there's the mode if music's playing it'll play in the background and it's just another cool thing to have at night so you can be seen on the road because we're already riding a small board bike so why not have something even more that helps you stand out um yeah that is going to do it for today's video like i mentioned if you're interested in getting the same setup and lights for your bike i have a link down in the description you can put this on your monkey 
your Grom. I'm going to put a set on the Duke. Uh, you put it on your Ruckus, whatever you want to do. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you're subbed to the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Leave this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.